everybody, it's... What's up everybody? I just recently got monetized as of September 2019. I wanted to share with you how I got my first check on YouTube. So I've been creating content since 2005 on my other YouTube channel called B Girl Peppa. I started out making b-girl videos, dance videos, videos of me on set, me and my dance crew with Justin Bieber. There's a bunch of videos of just randomness and breakdance battles that I used to do and then it changed over to doing more stunts, film fights, and martial arts, weapons, some action comedies. Most recently, Yoga Pant Brawl, which was awesome and it was submitted to um, a couple film festivals. Yoga Pant Brawl was a collaboration I did with a bunch of my stunt friends. It's if you haven't checked it out yet, please check it out. However, the B-Girl Peppa channel got demonetized because I needed 4K subscribers and I had just below that. Right now, I had 2 million views in the last 365 days on B-Girl Peppa. Almost 5K views. Hold on a second, my agent's calling. Okay, I just booked a commercial and way to start off 2020, everybody, with a bang. Really, what you put out into the world comes to you because last year I was like, I need to book five national commercials or I need to figure out ways to make on the side residual money. So I wanna figure out how to make money off of YouTube. So if you keep watching, I'll tell you how much my first YouTube payment was. So the B-Girl Peppa channel has still not been monetized. I've applied for it, I've fulfilled all the requirements, I have almost 5k subscribers and I have 2 million views in the last 365 days and it's just sitting there. And I don't know why, so can someone please look at the channel, B-Girl Peppa, and tell me why I'm still not monetized. It's about women empowerment and encouraging females to put their energies into martial arts like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. and kung fu and karate and learn how to self-defend yourself and also learn how to dance so you feel empowered and feel confident. Skills over skin. So now I have this channel. To Once you hit a certain amount of followers, you're allowed to apply for a YouTube school program. You're allowed to apply to use the YouTube studio for facilities and do an online course. Yet this channel, which was a channel that I made a long time ago for my dog, Buster, who who passed away in 2014, bless his little heart, the little angel. I made it so that I could just have a journal log entry of the videos that I had on my phone and my laptop of just him playing with his toys and whatever because I missed him. And about four years ago, after he had died, he died in 2014, so around 2016, I slowly started uploading some videos from my phone and my laptop just for the heck of it, just so I could just go back and look at videos of him when I missed him or if my sister or my niece and nephew missed him or my parents or any of my friends because Buster had a lot of fans. When he passed away and I put a post on Facebook, and my friends commented below telling me about, hey, I remember that time Buster came and visited while you were auditioning for something. Or I remember Buster, he was so sweet, he put his paw on my leg when I was crying because I broke up with someone. Anyways, Buster was such an angel. Somehow he's made it back into my life again by one of his videos becoming viral. And this whole time, since 2005, I've been creating all sorts of content, things that I care about, things that I like, things that I wanted to share with the world and inspire myself, inspire you, inspire any of the people out in the world to put their energies into some form of movement rather than sex drugs, rather than gang life, rather than violence, rather than substance abuse. So now we're here, it's 2020. So Buster died in 2014 after finding out that he had hemangiosarcoma, which is a cancer of the blood. He had this emergency spleen surgery. <sighs> So for seven months, we just partied hard with Buster. We brought him everywhere. We gave him organic food. We did everything possible to help him overcome this cancer. And he lived a good seven months longer than he was supposed to. He was supposed to die within a month after he was diagnosed from angiosarcoma. So around last September, 2019, I noticed that one of the videos on the Buster the Cocker channel kept getting hits. Cute dog getting rubbed and kicking his leg and people kept commenting but I just wasn't reading because I am so busy with my whole life just hustling, trying to do this, going to auditions, producing this short, producing my side projects, working out, doing yoga, training martial arts, going to jujitsu, all this stuff. I just ignored it. 
I decided to click on the video and look at why I'm getting all these comments that I wasn't even reading. Sure enough, on this video, there was 20 million views and 9,000 likes and maybe 4,000 dislikes, but I was blown away. It's just a 33 second video of my friend Mish rubbing my dog's belly and trying to get his leg to kick. And the reason why I made this video is because I used to always rub his belly and hold him like a little baby and he'd always kick his leg and I always thought it was so funny but I couldn't hold the camera and do it at the same time. So I basically tried to have my friend Michelle do it for me so I could record it and then while I'm recording it, I'm egging it on. So check out the video. It's shaking. It's going. It's going. Look, it's going. <laughs> He's resisting now. Look at <laughs> He looks bald. Oh. You like that, Buster? So he lifted one paw. Good boy, Buster. Okay. Anyways, if you know why this video went viral, please tell me. I, I can assume because it's kind of intriguing. My friend's really rubbing Buster's stomach hard and trying to get his leg to kick. And he's like, you know, kicking his leg and you see a side profile of him. So you kind of see his little brother, his little thing. But in no way did I mean this video to be sexual. In no way did I mean it for it to be viral. And somehow it became viral. So, hey, I'm so appreciative. Once I found that video, I quickly went into my YouTube channel for Buster the Cocker. I clicked on the monetization and turned on monetization because I didn't even have that option on. And I knew about that because of b -roll Peppa. I tried to monetize at some point. So then YouTube takes its time. In fact, it was very fast. By September 30th, I was approved to join the YouTube Partner Program. Woo! And then I let it go. And I had to go continue doing my hustle, which was doing stunt work, acting jobs, whatever it is that I do in my life to thrive and have fun and dance and move. So then I get this little message and it says that I got paid November 22nd. So. Just in two months, I got a payment directly deposited into my bank account because if you set up your checking account and your routing number, YouTube pays you directly to your bank account. You just have to fill out some W9 information, then you're set. But here I am, I made yoga pant bra, thinking that the world would love to see girls kicking each other's asses in yoga pants. I did get a lot of love and support. I got a lot of comments, a lot of traffic from it. Four of my friends got to work for Beachbody Fitness through it, which was awesome. So I did get some awesome results. I did not expect anything from Yoga Pant Brawl. It's beautiful that I got to work for Beachbody Fitness. From Yoga Pant Brawl, we met a lady who hired some of us to create Rough Around the Edges, this workout program. And then I was hired to create a commercial for a product called open fit fuel. We'll show you the commercial later. Now this channel, Buster the Cocker, has 34,000 subscribers. This video has 23 million views. He looks bald. And it keeps growing. Now I see people are making longer than 10 minute videos so that they can have ads in between the video. This video that I have on here that went viral, is <sighs> somehow it's still getting traffic. So I downloaded this app called YouTube. I downloaded this app called YouTube Studio on my iPhone. It tells you a bunch of information about your channel. I was able to see where the traffic is coming from. It says most of the traffic is coming from 96% of suggested videos. This means all the other videos that are millions of views, 71 million views of people hugging their animals. Once you see that, then my video is one of those. People really love dogs. External sources are like 17% Google search. Some other interesting facts that I found on YouTube Studio and Analytics. In the last 28 days, 229K minutes of watch time. 506K views just in the last 28 days. There's 9K likes but 4K dislikes. I don't know what there's not to like about an Asian girl 
scratching the belly of a cute stuffed animal looking dog that looks like a Build-A-Bear. The audience is 68% male and 31% female. There's a wide range of ages of people looking at this video. The biggest percentage is 19%, 55 to 64 age. The top countries views are coming from India, which is 47%, Brazil, 5%, Indonesia, Turkey, and Vietnam. So what do I do now? I spent all these years creating content that I cared about, and I'm still gonna create that content because that's my blessing and my curse to get out what's in my head and in my heart to express myself and to tell you stories through movement art. So I'm gonna continue doing that. I'm just waiting for YouTube. To monetize me. To monetize me already. Hello? I'm here. What is the game plan now? Do I make more cuddling videos with my dog? That's easy, I love cuddling my dog. Everyone loves cuddling their dog. Do I do instructional videos like how to feed your dog in a slow eater so that he doesn't pig up and, and oink up all his food? This is called a slow feeder. This is how Munchie eats. Or do I do dog food reviews or dog agility? The sky's the limit. My sweet little Buster is still watching over me through his YouTube channel. Oh, and the last thing, of course, the amount on my first payment was $462. And I will patiently wait for Bee Girl Peppa to become monetized. Meanwhile, please subscribe to Bee Girl Peppa and check out all the work that I've done on there because I've spent hours and hours of editing and producing and doing all these things to in entertain you out there. I hope you take a chance to actually watch it. Please subscribe and comment below if you have any thoughts about what I should do and what more you want to see on this channel and the Bee Girl Peppa channel.